In this lecture, let's try to create a slideshow. You might have already seen a number of slideshows before. A slideshow is nothing but displaying some images one after another. The slideshow can be automatic, that is, the images can be displayed at regular intervals and also it can be manual, that is, on some click event, the images can be displayed one after another. So, let's try to create a slideshow now. For that, I have already added five images on my web page and given the class name picture for all those images. And now the web page looks like this. These are the five different images displayed on the web page. Now, let me style these images a bit so that the images are displayed one below the other. So, this is the class name. So, class name is picture. So, let me add the style tag and access the pictures. So, first let me set the width and height for these images. Let the width be 400 px and the height be 266 px. Then, let me position the top and left at 10 px so that there will be a gap between the border and the images. So, top and left 10 px. Now, let's check how they appear. Refresh. See, this is how now the image is looking like. And let me set the position to be absolute so that they will be displayed one below the other. See, now we are seeing only the last image, isn't it? I will just remove this and show you. See, this is the last image a pink rose. So, when I specify position absolute, the last image is getting displayed as the first image. But all the images are actually there below this image because we have set the position to be absolute. Now, what we need to do? We need to display one image after the other like a slideshow. So, we will do it actually on the click on this image. We are not going to create an automatic slideshow. On the other hand, we will change the images when we click on this image. So, here I have added the document.ready event. First, let me hide all the images and then display the first image, then the second image like that. So, to hide the image, what we can do? We can access the images like dot picture dot hide. This will hide all the images okay then we want to display the first image so how we can display the first image dollar dot picture first this will select the first image and then let us use the fade in effect to display the image and let me display it in one second so i am specifying thousand milliseconds which means the first image will be faded in let us refresh. See, the first image is faded in. If you remember, this was the first image and the rose was the last image. Okay. Next, as I have already mentioned, we are going to make this slideshow on the click of an image. So, we need to specify dollar dot picture dot click, which means we are attaching the actions on the click event. And within this, we need to write the function and we need to write our code within this. And what should we do when a person clicks on an image? The current image should be hidden. Okay. So, how we can select the current image? That is the currently clicked image. We can use this selector. So, dollar this dot, it should be hidden, which means we can use the fade out effect. Let us specify the time as 1000 itself. Okay, so this image will be faded out. Then what should happen? The next image should be faded in. But actually, if the image currently showing is the last image, that is we have already five images and suppose it reached this image, that is flower three, that is a pink rose, then what should be displayed? Then it should display the first image. So if it is currently at first image, it should show the second image. If it is a second image, third one, if we are clicking on the third image, it should display fourth image. 
and if we are clicking on the fourth image it should display fifth image but when we reach the fifth image and if we click on the fifth image we should display the first image and the slideshow should repeat like that but how we can decide whether there is an image after the currently clicked image or whether it is the last image we are clicking on actually this dot next will point to the next image and if we try to get this dot next dot length it will return zero if there is no image after the current one and it will return one if there is at least one item after the current one so what we can do is let us declare a variable where next okay and i'm going to use the ternary operator and here i'm going to specify dollar this dot next dot length and if the length returns one means we have the next image already so we can just specify this one so if there is a next image we will select the next image and otherwise we will select the first image so let me copy this okay do you understand this code here what we are doing is we are deciding which image should be displayed next in fact if it reaches the end it should display the first image in all other cases it should display the next image so suppose it is at this point that is dollar this is flower 2 dot jpeg then what will be dollar this dot next it will be nature 2 dot jpeg and its length will be 1 so if this is true then this statement will be executed and if this condition is false then this statement will be executed that is the ternary operator it is something similar to if else only so if this is true means it will select the very next image but suppose it is at this point and we are clicking on this flower 3 dot jpeg then what will be returned by dollar this dot next there is no next element right so the length will return zero which means this condition is false and it will select the first image that is dollar dot picture dot first means it will select flower one dot jpeg and then what we need to do we need to display the next so we can specify next dot fade in in thousand milliseconds that is one second so let me save and check whether we are getting the output correctly refresh see it is the first image let me click on this image it is displaying the second one again clicking third one fourth one this is the last image if you remember then when i click on this it is displaying the first image so it will repeat like this so here we have created a slideshow that is controlled manually on the click on this image okay so hope you understand this code we have first added all the five images and then styled them so that the images will be displayed one below the other it is done by this position absolute setting and we have set the width and height of all images to be the same and we have specified top and left to be 10 px that is why you are seeing a small gap here okay then first we have hidden all the images using hide method then we displayed only the very first image using the fade in effect and then on the click of the image we are first hiding the current image and then deciding which image should be displayed next if it is the last image that is currently being displayed then we go to the first image otherwise we will display the next image itself and then we will display that image so here we are using fade in and fade out effects to display and hide the images instead you can even use slide in slide out or whatever effect you want and you can increase the time if you want so that the images will be displayed slowly okay so in this lecture we have created a slideshow that is manually controlled by the click event